Hello and welcome to the Yarmouth Moose Lodge. I am Darren Eldridge with D Productions here and we are bringing you live action from the Yarmouth Moose. This is the Cape Cod Dart League A and double A combined luck of the draw. We put the two divisions together and come out here and get joined in. See who does what, where. Last week we had the C and B and we were down at Brewster Pizza. We could not do the live stream at that time, so we uh, taped that for you. Jason Pillsbury was on the mic. Might get him back tonight. We might get a few other people up in here tonight. See what's going on. Our first match of the evening up here, we are going to have Lee Baker and I'm not sure. And I've got Melanie Boyan and Shane Hakula. I thought it was Lee and Lisa Moss, but I'm not sure. But we'll find out in a minute. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, with some live darting action. And we have Melanie Boyan, Melanie Boyan right now, shooting. They will start off with 501. This is gonna be the best two out of three. This is a single elimination tournament. And it will be two out of three. They'll play 501, single in, double out, and then they will turn around and they will play cricket and see how that ends up going. Ball and now up there now. And Shane Hakala. Shane comes from off Cape down here, plays with uh, a bunch of the guys, and then a blink against a bunch of the guys in the Minuteman. So, oh, so it looks like we got Lee Baker and Paul and now, and we've got Melanie and Shane in the Hizal. Lee Baker stepping up. Looks like he's just outside that trip 20. Solid 60 right there. Solid 60. We'll see how Melanie does. Melanie, one of the better female dart players we have. She has played in the singles and in the team. Plays in the AA division here on Cape Cod. We have some amazing female shooters down here. You'll get to see a few of them this evening. This is Paul. Paul plays on IAC out of out of the Moose, I believe. I believe that's the team he's on. And at the moment, we're struggling to find our time. I see Shane in there again. First start triple. Drifts onto the wrong side. Back into the one. We'll see if Lee Baker. Lee Baker plays on the world famous Team Fupa out of the Brewster VFW. They were one of our first live streams that we had. Work great. Ooh, sneaks into that trip 20. Sneaks two into that triple 20. 125. Fupa has won the championships many times in a row, but was defeated last season and is now, now on a revenge tour trying to get their championship back. See Melanie with one in the 22 drift off in to the one there. You see Paul and Lee's still behind even after Lee's big shot. Paul not enough to catch that trip 20 there, but does catch the triple five. Shane's been nailing that triple 20 for a start. Couldn't quite get it that time. With 195 and three darts, Lee Baker should leave it out here for Paul. We'll see where he uh, decides to begin his track into the single 20. It's 80 with 115 left. You would think it would be a cork. Perhaps he'd go down. Let's see how the mind of Lee Baker works. And it's a cork. I like that shot. Big fan. 
That leaves 90. It's a nice two dart out. Melanie going right after those 18s. Oh, just robbed in that 20. Dang. Well thrown dart, just the wrong side of the wire. Paul stepping up with 90. We'll see if he can just get this kill shot and take it out. It's 120, 70 left. Paul's got 50 left. We'll see if he ops. And he does, he drifts into the four. So he'll leave Lee Baker on a two dart out if Shane cannot complete the 123. 104 left, he's still got a possibility. No possibility now, all he can do is set it up. Completes the 59. Leaving Melanie with 64. Baker should be able to clean up this 46. It should not be too, too difficult for Mr. Baker. But we'll see. 14 is going to leave him 32. Like in the left side of the board, Bob, boom. First start, nice kill shot. That's a tight game of 0 1 there. Shane will step up. You lose the first leg, you will throw the cork first. Shane a little bit above, but he's got that flight down there. We'll see what one of the fabulous Baker brothers does here as Lee steps up. Eyeing that, trying to get himself in. Oh, caught a flight, but it looks like he's a wee bit closer. We do not do a PDC rule here. We let the closest go in. So you'll see that's why Lee will be starting that. So now they'll step up and play cricket. And looks like Lee's gonna clean up and close that right out. And Shane only managing the one nine is not going to put that, is not gonna be able right now to put much pressure on. We'll see if Paul can take that right away. Paul stepping up, one in, one out. Going up to the 20 to secure that point. Can't close it. Always knows coming up behind you. Melanie well capable of loading up that 19, so he will take that point, force her to stay there. Melanie unable to get that. Did slip in a 16 there, so she does have that going. He will step up now, trying to clean up his 19. You can see how happy he is about that. See his arm leans a little bit, he's got that. Oh, and goes to the left with a 22. That's a big ol' Ruski right there for Mr. Baker. Big ol' Ruski. Shane could be set up really nicely right here. He really could. Needs to sneak in a few 19s. He really needs that triple. Oh, and just lands on the top of that bad boy. Paul with the frustration. Hands on the head, never a good sign, never a good sign. Some bagels here after a nice little wrap up in that game. Melanie will step up. And she'll be taking advantage. Oh, just drifting to the right. That's two shots she's had now. She cleans up that nine, gives herself some points. But robbed on that trip 20 and then on that trip nine. So Lee Baker continuing his struggles. And he pops in two nines to take that away. Shane now stepping up, got to switch to a new number, picks that triple up right away. Needs to go high, stay in it. Boom, look at that, right on top. You can see him getting some dap back there from Mel. That was a nice shot by Shane there. Paul's gonna have to think about this now. He's gonna have to get himself some 20s. 
He's been pretty steady up there, popping in those singles. One more is going to give them the point lead. And, oh, and he went into that triple and just drifts off to the right. You can see Mel and Shane talking strategy. Mel's stepping up. You know she wants to pop that off. Oh, just underneath. Staying steady. One more, and she'll pop that off. Boom. Third dart single. That's a hard dart to hit right there, but she nailed it. Closes it right out. Lee Baker now got to step up and pick a new number. As you can see, Lee Baker's one of the tall ones, so his head gets him in the screen a little bit. We're figuring stuff out here, still practicing. We'll get it right. We'll get it right. So, so feel free to throw us a tip, especially if this is something you do. Oh, Shane right on top again. Just drifting off. Pops two of those 17s. That gives Paul, that gives Paul something to shoot at. Oh, just outside. Got to split down the middle. Can't. Picks up a 15. Leaving Mel a great chance right here to just clean this up. 1-7. She's already got a 6 in her back pocket. Could put Baker and Leno on a little bit of trouble right here. Nice steadies. Oh! Just outside. Looks like Mel is feeling it right now. See Baker pondering, he's got a 15. He could choose to go to there, or he could just keep that in his back pocket and try to get ahead on the six. Ooh, right on the wire, it's a nice marker. Tuck it right in there, get a deflection. Ooh. No deflection, he closes it up. Shane should be able to clean up. Ooh, got it on top. Got one five but did take away the little toy. So Paul's got nothing to point on now. He's got to meet it up a little bit just on the outside. Oh, now he's really blocked that triple. He got three in there. So that's going to give him a point lead for just a moment. But it should be something that Mel can easily clean up. There she goes with her 18. And she's just going to stay there. She's going to leave him that 15, Stan. Oh, and went back down. I like the philosophy. Even if Baker hits two, that's only 105. So he's really got to get in there to try to get a triple. On the outside, ain't helping. Looks like he caught a little flight there, too. That's definitely not helping. Looking for that triple. It says no. Go right to the cork. Two corks, 50. Triple 15, 45. It's not a bad move right there, especially when you can't even see. You can't even see it. Shane trying to clean it up, but he is not. He pops the 18. When in, when in doubt. When in doubt, point it out. Oh, Paul, right on that. Can that guide it in there? Oh, wow. I think that's about as close as he could get without actually getting in. That was crazy. Mel with a seven-point lead is going to take that 15 away. Boom. That's how you do it right there. Even an 18 at that point. 18s only gives him 25. That doesn't give him a point lead really at that point. So that double cork was deadly. Lee right now looking for a double of his own. He's not going to hit it. Shane's going to walk up with three clear. Send us into a third leg. Ooh. Looks like Shane was throwing a javelin right there, putting everything he got into it. Uh, there he goes. Second dart after he gets the wobbliness correct. So now the winner of the first is going to have the option on the cork. And then whoever is closest or in the cork will call the game. We'll let him get set. You can see Lee pondering his, and he's going to say, nope, go right ahead. Mel, after nailing that double cork dead center, steps up on the outside, but she makes it nice and tight with a little bit of flight hanging over it. 
Mr. Baker pondering and Mr. Baker letting know he's not happy where she put that flight. I don't think Mel's going to give a damn, as you can see by that smile on her face. So let's see if Lee can power through it. What do you got, Baker? What do you got? Oh, so looks like he's outside. It looks like Shane and Mel are going to get to call this game. Let's see what they call as we go into our third leg decider. This is a single elimination tournament, and when you lose, you do have to score. So both teams want to move on. Nobody wants to score. Mel just on the outside now, drifting over left again. Pops in a single 20. This is a nice open bed for Mr. Lee Baker. We will see if he's able to put the kibosh on this and send them off into a good start. He too drifting a little left on top, but a nice guide. Ooh, two. The door, Mr. Shane, is open. Will you let yourself in? Oh, pressure dart on the third, and he can't. He doesn't. He drifts. He drifts. All right, Paul stepping up now. Three steadies is going to put him in a pretty good position. They're uh, definitely all going, ooh, two in the five, two in the five. Oh, manages to close, manages to close. Looks like we got the uh, third leg jitters going on. Mel cleans that up first start. She's got the one, she pops that triple. They are gonna be looking sweet. Nope, couldn't quite make it. Drifts into the three. So Lee Baker with another shot in a wide open bed. Well, he won't be going for the double 19, so we'll look right over his head. Oh, one in, one out. Is it a guide? It is not. Well, over to Shane. Into a seven. One nine. Can he catch it? Can he catch it? He can't. He drifts left. Left on the dot again. A little tenseness going on over here. Paul wanted to make sure he takes that away. He does. Now he could use one more for a little point. Boom. Third dart. That could be a little bit, a little bit of a hindrance here. Mel, nice and steady right out of her 18s. She's got one. She's got two, and she's got three. Nice close. Good steadies. Mr. Baker can feel a little more comfortable. Got a little extra 57 in his pocket. He's got the first dart in the 18. He's got two, the third dart single, boom. And although the triple doesn't hurt, it does take it away, which means Shane will move on to 17. Oh. And catches two fives. You could see he was just trying to go right over the top. Over the top. When I turn my head around. I'm a different man. Paul stepping up now. Oh, right on that triple 17. Oh, you can see that. That was not a good throw. I don't think there was anything good about that one. Such a sweet spot waiting. All right, Mel steps up. Oh, right on top. She definitely needs a triple. She definitely needs a triple here. And she nails it, third dart. Beautiful. All right, puts Baker. Baker will probably, I would imagine, if he hits the two singles, will go back to that 19 to pop it off, but he's gotta, gotta take away that 17 first. Dart one doesn't help. Dart two doesn't help. And he goes right at the 18, but the 18 is closed. The 18 is closed. He completely forgot it was 19s. Shane, Shane needs another 17 right now. And oh man, he is struggling on that third dart. That third dart single is killing him right at the moment. Can sneak in that first, just can't get it. Now it'll be Paul's turn. And I could definitely see Paul now. If he can get that 17, there's one. 
He's been really good at his singles. Oop, he drifts into the three. Can he take it away? No, he doesn't even try. He goes right to the 19. Well, Mel, what you got, girl? What you got? Mel's been very steady all game long. As there's 17. Oh, look at that. That's a 68 right there. That's a 68 right there. That's when the single really hurts. The single hurts. Oh, Lee Baker drifting over into the three. And now a seven. He is not going to be happy, folks, with that one. Looks like he snuck in that. Oh, he caught the triple with that. Damn. Oh, Shane's got to. Shane's got to get that 17. He's got it. Now he needs that nine, and he's got it. He's got it. Point in the close gives him a three-point lead. Paul's got to pick a new number. Come on over to the 16. Ooh, he's going right to the 15. I don't know about that. Got one there. Mel can just take that right away with one dart. And she's had no problem with these one-dart singles. Oh, a little high, a little high, a little high, dog, a little low. The one in the middle, Rock. Boom, triple. Add helps, add on 30. Oh, look at Shane. Shane is like, damn, that's my partner. All right, Lee. Let's see some of that Fupa magic, man. Fupa magic, you got any? We're going to see. You can see Kevin right there shaking his head. That is Melanie's husband. I'm not so sure he's having as good a time as Mel is at the moment, but there's three steady 16s. Shane really needs to just take this away. And boom, one time. Out of the cork. Oh, outside, outside. Does put away that 16. And they do have a 33-point lead. Paul just not getting. Oh, I don't. That wasn't a cork, anyways. But still, the bounce out is just a bummer. Mel, clean this up right here with three. Mel, clean it up with three. See if she gets that weight right. Oh, there's one. That's a nice guy too. She drift right off it. Oh, just a little low. She got that icebreaker though. She got that icebreaker. Lee Baker really needs to see this go in the first dart. Can't have a blocker here. Can't have a blocker. Ooh, a bit high, but out of the way. There he goes. There's a double. Follow that in there. Ooh. Three. Three. It gets a little tighter. Shane just needs two now. Shane needing two bulls. He's got one. Can he just glide it right in? Yes, sir, he can. Bang. Very well done. Very well done. Well, there you go. You're going to see Shane and Mel moving on. You're going to see Lee or Paul going to be scoring. And we're going to see what's next up. Hope you're enjoying this. If you are watching it, do me a favor. Subscribe. Need all the subscribers I can get. This is Darren Eldridge with D Productions, and we'll be right back with another match live from the Armouth Moose, Cape Cod Dart League, AAA Combined Look of the Draw.
Hello, 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 and welcome back. We've got another live match coming here. And on this match, we are going to have... Uh, bringing it up, and we've got Tom Plant. Tom Plant and Jeremy Curran. On your screen right now is Smitty, Billy Smith, the original Smitty. And his partner is Alan Furman. Smitty, Smitty plays on FMA, and they pay out of the Moonfish, which is the old Royal Palace. They joined into the Dart League. There's Alan Furman. They play, I believe they play out of the Red Nun. And Alan is part of the back-to-back -back champions um, from B, and they got bumped up to A this season. Had a few little stumbles in the beginning, but have worked their way out, put a couple good wins under their belt, and they're getting everything nice and figured out. There's Jeremy Kern. He plays in our AA division. And there's Tom Plant. Tom Plant plays out of the cleat and anchor and is part of the, was a uh, champion. They lost their crown last year to CBD, which plays out of here, the Armouth Moose. So they're on the war path, trying to get their title back. And we are kind of wrapping up our season. We should be wrapping up, and usually in May, we have championship, we'll do a banquet afterwards, but we'll be all wrapped up and on our summer break. A Couple of luck of the draws that we have on Cape Cod, we don't do much other than that. We do have an event I'd like to catch up on on May 18th at the Yarmouth Moose here, we are gonna have our Cape Cod Youth Dart Tournament. And this is absolutely free to all youth age, um, well, I guess if they can throw the dart, whatever age is young, up to 18. The whole day is free. You will find the flyer in the event on our Facebook page at the uh, Cape Cod Dart League on Facebook. Go to events. And you'll see that we are accepting all donations. We do fund that, as I said, free for the kids. We'll have food and trophies and plaques. We have some swag bags for all the kids and um, a lot of our local businesses, our sponsors from the Cape Cod Dart League and uh, dart suppliers around all uh, pitch in, give us a big hand and it's a great day for the kids. This is our second annual. And uh, we have one of the folks, Pizza Shark, who was a huge supporter of the Dart League, and although not a lot of space in their places right now, but they've got places in uh, Pleasant Lake and Harwich, over on 6A in Dennis, and also at the Chatham Orpheum. So uh, get out there, Joshua Cooperman, check out his new movie, Early Bird. It's great. Jen and I purchased that, watched that on a movie night, and um, and the guy, those guys are, have always been great to us. So. Looks like we're getting ready to start some action. I see some fist bumps going on. A few how do you do's. See Melanie Boyan cleaning her stuff out. She doesn't have to score because she won. So uh, somebody is. So. Looks like uh, the cork was thrown. And that looks very tight. You see Paul sticking his head in there. Paul must have stepped up to score. Looks like, uh, looks like we're gonna do this again. A little too close to call. And Tom's still on the outside. See Smitty rocking his Red Eye Rhino Ultimate Team Gear. The Ultimate Team Gear guys do our championship shirts. And man, they got right next to each other again. This will be interesting. Oh, looks like Smitty pulled it. He must be calling it. And you can see there. And those guys, Michael Miner and, and Sparkles and all those guys uh, do a nice job with our championship shirts. We also uh, have a little thing going on with uh, DJD. They have done a beautiful job on the 40th anniversary for the Cape Cod Dart League. And uh, 1984 to 2024, and we're celebrating this year, and we're, we're really happy about it. We got some beautiful shirts to order. 
you go to the DJD website, you can see that shirt. 50 bucks, order it, personalize it, show your Cape Cod pride. And again, these guys are opening up. We are doing 501 single in, double out. Billy Smith just getting into that one. Got a little, got a little locked. I don't know, that's a living legend right there, right behind Jeremy. He's nicer than me. Little mule kick. Ooh, has a 75. Nine to five. Jeremy's game has really come along. Jeremy jumped up to double A this season with some of the guys and jumped up on a uh, A team in the Minuteman and uh, has really stepped up his game. You see Alan Furman right there, one of our better shots. Allen actually had an undefeated 301 season a couple seasons back on his B championship team. I know a lot of you guys out there play, so 301 double in, double out, ain't easy. Oh, look at Tom, he's got a Darren dart there. Ooh, looks like he caught that trip 12. It's better than that trip five. So, see Mr. Smitty, he's got that nice smooth throw. Smitty's been playing darts a long time. I've been very fortunate to have him as a teammate for a long, long time, a friend for even longer. But you got the old, you got the new. I'm old, we try to hang on. Oh, Jeremy, one of the younger guys coming up. Alan's one of the newer guys. You love seeing these young guys come up and everything but a 20. 21 after a nine to five. Oop. See, got a little little high there. See, Alan, another one of those tall guys. Those tall guys mess with my camera, man. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not lying, not lying. Need to make him a little hole. See? Nice short guy like Tom. I can see the whole board. And like we had last time, I think these guys are trying to just uh, iron out a little bit. Trying to keep those steadies flowing. So in this today, we had, I think we had 36, 34, 36 players today. We also got some raffle action going on. We got a 50-50 here. We're also raffling off a blade six. Doing that for five bucks. We also got another Blade Six, a little raffle at that youth event. And all the money raised that we do goes to two things. Our youth event for the kids, boom, trip 20. Nice start, Jeremy. And also, and looks like that one landed just on top. And that's a ton. And then after we throw that youth tournament, we take everything that's left and that goes to Child and Family Services here right on Cape Cod and to help the youth on Cape Cod. We like to make a cash donation. It gives them a chance to have some cash to spend. A lot of times the older kids in those situations get left out and so some cash goes a long way to help them. So uh, those are our two main charities that we do here on Cape Cod. If you wanna know more, please feel free to send us a message. And um, again, you can find us on Facebook, the Cape Cod Dart League, and that has all our contact info there taking sponsors and help and donations of any kind for that event. Or if you're just interested in getting out, we got some luck of the draws. You want to learn how to play darts, maybe play in your basement. You're like, hey, I could do that. It's a good time. Like I said, we got 36, 40 people, something like that here, and everyone's having a good time. Nice Saturday night, a little business for the moose. They got some food out for us. It's a good time. And unfortunately, you can see the... Uh, Looks like Jeremy Curran looking real good here with the 87. Huh, went up to 19, I don't know. He would have left 30. Fatty and a nine. Leaves a nice 48. You see Allen, I'm back on 216. There's not much of a threat. And unfortunately, he popped in the one there. So 
So we are, you'll notice as we go along, we are paying top four today. Top four today. With uh, three and four, with the three and fourth place, we'll be getting, oh, Tommy, this is not soft tip. You cannot win it with a triple. So that will be a boost. But Billy back on 191. So as I said, we're paying top four. Three and four get 80. 170 to second. Three fitted a first. So it's not a bad night to come out. The league does put the money in. Matches the pot as the guys come in to, up to play. So it gives us a nice little, uh, nice little pot there, which is nice. See Jeremy stepping up now. No triple 16 for Jeremy. He's got 32 left. Landing on the outside. Looks like he might have... Uh, a little couple of flights in the way, maybe. Oh, he's going to miss on the outside. Allen back on 131. Might take a little bit to go ahead and pop this in. You see him. Um, out charts are generally right underneath the dartboard if you're wondering what on earth is Allen staring at. Usually that's where the out chart is. Give you a little guide. 25, 106. Still popping in. There he goes. 45. That gets him down. It's a two data. Tommy with one sitting on 32. We'll see if Mr. Plant can pop it in there. Just on the outside. Looks like a nice little guide over the top if he can just drift it over. Oh, looks like he drifts into the eight. 24. Double 12. Nope. Chasing the doubles. Now this gives Smitty a really good shot. So at 18. Thinking more than likely. He would go with the trip 18. Get the single. Now if it was me, I'd go 18. Try for the double cork. He is not. Double four left. Oh, and he drifts down into the 13. Oh. It's going to kill that hard work. Kills the hard work. 13's more than eight, so that's a bust. Puts Jeremy back on point at 12. Oh, he gets a 10, only one place to go. Wow, is that a marker? Oh, ho, ho, ho. dang. Oh, well, Furman on 86. There he goes, double 13. He goes right at that trip 20, doesn't even think. Doesn't even think anything. Just give me that triple. Steadying himself. Deep breath. Ooh, is it a guide? Is it a guide? Oh, man. I'll tell you what, folks. That was, that was a couple well-thrown darts like there. I'm not going to lie. That looked good. Really did. Tom, up there on two. Wow, that was a tight one. I don't know if he can sneak that one in. No, that was a little tough. Smitty might offer a little fix on this one. I don't know. 13. Drift inside. That can be tough, but he may just go right at it. And he is going right at it. Right at that pup. Oh, there's the 13. Probably a five. Nope, seven. Seabus. We'll see if Jeremy can clean up the two or if Alan. No, Alan's got a chance to go fishing. So we'll see. Three can be a little tough down there. Some people opt for two double two. Haven't shot against Alan, so I don't know what he's really like. He may just go right for it. Of course, he's tall, so we're not going to know. That looks like that's a three. Nope, that's definitely a three. Smitty doesn't care. Go ahead. Set it up. Oh, and so he just took care of it. He busts it. Tommy's still stuck on two. Little hiccups at the end of the game here. And he gets a first start. He was able to pop that one out. So, with those guys losing, they will now, Alan Smitty, throw for Cork.
And they'll try to make it as difficult as possible. And here we go. Like I said, the next game will be cricket. So, Smitty and Furman, they got to win this one to force it. If not, Jeremy and Tom will move on. Oh, well, that's all right. Got a 20, got a trip 18. There's nothing wrong with that. You're going to miss, miss by two. Miss by two. Jeremy pondering. No doubt right to the 20. We know he's not worried about that at the moment. Oh, he wants to put that triple, make Smitty go back to the 18. He doesn't. Smitty in a pretty good position right here. If he can pop off that 20, pop in an 18, early point lead with him down one leg. That's really what they want to do. Nice first start. Now if he just wants to stay straight, boom. I would imagine he'll drift into that 18, try to pop that triple. Oh, caught in the one. See Tom and Jeremy talking strategy. Tom may very well just go right to the 19. No, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful first start triple in the 18 right there for Tom. Can't pull the double dibble on the triple, but does take away the 18. Keeps it a pointless game at the moment. Allen stepping up just below, but he's nice and tall. Easy for him to go right over. That's a beautiful guide. Oh. Four blocked out, took that point lead, went over to the 17. Oh, Jeremy not doing himself any favors here. Nope. Smitty looking good now. And that nice smooth, silky stroke with the Smitmeister. Can he pop off those 17s? Oh, looks like he's catching a three. They go back with the point lead already. He's focused, he's on it. Ooh, so close. But one and one, puts a little pressure on Mr. Plant. Mr. Plant needing a lot of 17s right now. Just wants to stay straight. Ah, oh, a little drift left. Lots of room to the right. Can only pull the two though. Puts Allen in good stead. Got one, could use another. Oh, looks like he drifted into the two. Oh, oh. So there's a chance. There's a chance. Jeremy Kern sets the line, needing some 17s. He's got the sickle. Is he going to get the square? He's got one. He's got one. Looks like a one and one action. So, Smitty with an easy chance to clean up here. And then he's got a choice to pop the point or go right onto the 16. He buries his first start, probably take a poke at that six. He doesn't, so you definitely want to take care of that seven. Definitely want to take care of that seven. Boom. Well, it took all three, but that's okay. He won't be happy about it, but it still puts them in the point lead. Tom Plant's got to catch a triple here. Drifts down into that seven. Oh! Looks like he got a little flight flip there into the eight. Allen looking pretty good. Oh, that's gonna make Allen look really good. Oh, I like that, I like that. You hit that triple, go back. Gives you a very decent point lead now. That 16 would have set up Smitty nicely. Jeremy's got to close here. Oh, drifts into that seven. Can he catch it? He can't. Six starts, two singles. That's going to hurt right there, folks. Smitty can take out this 16. It could be as good as a third leg. Oh, and he catches the double. There's no doubles in cricket. Come on. Oh. Uh. Needs that single, needs that single. Come on, boom. You take that double, you walk away like you meant it. 
Well, down to two numbers for Plant. McCarran. Right there, that's a beautiful guy begging for a triple 15, baby. Just like that. What a shot. Damn, what a shot right there. Allen stepping up, wanting to get rid of those 15s. He's got one. He's got two. Two and a two. Jeremy has uh, Jeremy has a chance right now, but he's definitely he won't. Ugh. Oh, that looks good. That looks good. Oh, four, four puts him in a point lead. Nothing Smitty can't clean up. Pop in that 19. Pop in that 15. He looking good. Ooh. Seven is not what he wanted, not what he wanted. Takes out that 15. Now he wants to go back. He's got two numbers to choose from. Oh! Oh, now, Mr. Plant, what you got? What you got, what you got? Does he take a shot at that 19? He does. Oh, oh. The look on his face says it all, folks. Oh, that triple three was so close. So Allen definitely wanted to take, get the point lead. You can see them all laughing and having a good time, though. That's the best thing about this. It is a good time. Oh, until you missed a triple. Ah, he got that one. Now if he pops that cork. Oh, maybe a little adrenaline flow right there. Such a good dart in that triple 19. Jeremy, no choice now. Corks are us. That's a good start. That's a good start. Oh! Well, there's some pressure right there for Mr. Smitty. But you know what? Smitty handles pressure. Let's do the same thing, Jeremy. Get that first start right in the cork. Give yourself a nice little guide. Nice little guide. Haul you right in. Boom. Well, he can throw at it. He's got those nice white flights. He's looking. He's checking. Checking, checking. Must be two. Must be two. He wants to fill that one in. Wants to fill it in. Oh, lands a little short. Lands just a little short. Tom. Tom definitely needs... Need some corks. Looks like he's starting off good. That one's just outside, but he's still got a good. Got, oh, man. Oh. Popped in one. Still leaves Allen with a chance. One cork. One cork, and we go to a third leg. Board four seems to be getting the third leg charms. Oh. Over the. Oh. <laughs> wow. Dang. Oh, Jeremy Kern right now. Oh, wanted that double first start. Wanted that double first start. Can't get it. Drops in the splash. No, no splashes. Smitty steps up. One cork. Put us onto a third leg. And let's see what we can do. Let's just straighten that out. The weight right. Oh, now just split them. Split the uprights. Field goal. No. Huh. Third dart. Slightly heavier. Slightly heavier. Now Mr. Tom Plant. Oh, he can't put that first one in. There's one. There's one. There's two. There's two. That's gonna put him up 30. That's gonna be two 19s. Philosophy I live by is point first, point first. But he's got it in his hands. One more 19. Oh, no trip that time. But he got the two. Two big ones. Puts it back on Jeremy now. However, three dots in hand can win. Oh. 
Oh, he has really kind of pinched himself there. That's a nice shot, but it leaves Smitty. Three clear darts, one cork. He can catch that. And we'll do a third leg. Smitty lining it up and nails it first dart. And we will go and we will have a third leg. Why play two and you can play three? You know what I'm saying? Of course you do. Of course you do. So, as I said, they uh, throw cork. So, looks like Smitty needs to get in. He's not. That's going to give them... That is going to give them the choice. All right. So we're going to do cricket again, folks. We're going to do cricket. All right, here we go with no with a wide open bed there with only 120 previously. Oh, Smitty to the left. A lot of room there looking for that triple. Can he pop it? He can't, but he gets two. Look at Tom. Tom stepping the line in a hurry. He's feeling pretty good. He's feeling pretty good. Got a chance to take a lead here. He's got one. He's got two. He's got the close. Does he get that point? Looks like he snuck that in there on the tightrope. He did. Allen right on those 19s. He does seem to have it dialed in on that triple. Oh, man, he was robbed again. Oh. That right there is tough. Tough, right on the edge. We'll see if Jeremy can take that away right on top of that triple. He's got two. Is he going to take that toy away? He is. One, two, three. 20 point lead. New number for Mr. Smitty. Smitty also stepped in, showed up, came down to hang out tonight. And we were odd, so he stepped right up, popped in, played. So we appreciate you, Smitty. I appreciate you making it even. Ooh, now he's into that triple 18, looking for another, looking for another. Got the single, that's a five banger right there. That's a five banger. Tom playing it with two numbers to pick from. Picks the one in the middle that doesn't point. Gets one. May just stay on that. Ooh. Allen in a pretty good position. If he can def if he can pop that 18, that's a beautiful dart right there. Just begging. Takes a 20. Ooh. Kind of thought he might go back to the 18 after that 20, but he was definitely feeling it. And the way that boy pops the 19s, I don't blame him because he does hit a lot of triple 19s. Ooh, Jeremy trying the one-on-one -on -one trick and it doesn't work. Took the lead. Smitty now with darts in hand can take the point lead and take away their toy. We know the rule, point first, point first. And he doesn't. And I would say that they just want to do whatever the opposite of what Darren says, but I'm not sure they can hear me, but perhaps. Oh, two sevens. He thinks me, he said, oh, darn it. Well, Plant now stepping up. Only one number to shoot at. He doesn't have his 20s anymore, so he's going at the 19s. He's got two in the sevens. Oh, he's got three in the sevens. That ain't gonna help. Alan Furman stepping up. One, he needs two, he's got two. 
I would imagine he's going to take that. He's not. He goes for that 17. Goes for that 17. Yes, yes, ladies and gentlemen, I would have pointed. I would have gone right back to that 18. Probably would have hit a one or a four, but I'm just saying I would have gone back to the 18. So, um, but uh, Jeremy with four of them. Oh, Jeremy with one of them. That's an honest person right there. He was about to get four. Can't do that. Can't do that. Got to keep it honest. Keep it honest. Smitty now. Smitty now just needing some 17s to clean up. There's a good first one. Begging for a couple more. Can just clean that right up. Put all three of them together. They love being in a clump. Oh. That could be another five banger for the Smith Meister. Yes, sir, it is. Ooh, Tommy Plant sneaking into that triple 16. He could use another one of those. Ooh, did not catch that triple, but he got four of them. He's keeping it interesting, keeping it interesting. Allen just taking a quick gander at the score. Got a good first one. Oh, the second one's out. Oh, that right there, I'm gonna call a little ballsy right there, a little ballsy right there. That was a nice start though. When you're feeling it, you're feeling it. That's just all there is to it. Ooh. Jeremy with a five banger of his own. Smitty clinging onto a one slim one point lead. Love this first start to go on that 15, especially the triple. And ask, and ye shall receive. Ooh. Uh -huh, you see a little smile on his face there. Uh, wanted that. Oh, then it was a triple 10. All righty, Mr. Plant, there's 20. Oh, there's his triple, and he's gonna stay right there and just pile that up. Bang, that's a seven banger, folks. That is a lot. Well, now I would imagine Allen is just gonna stay. He likes those 17s. That's his number, stay right there. Dart wants those 19s. There's two, there's two. Jeremy's stepping up now. He's got darts. He's got 118. Oh, he drifts into the four. Does he point or does he? Oh, he takes that 15. He says two numbers. Nope, I want another point. I want another point. Smitty now. Smitty needs a triple. Definitely needs a triple. Got to get that over 200. Got to get it over 200. They need all three 15s. And those guys are chipping away. Let's see where he goes. Oh. Just outside, just outside. He's got the one, he's got the one. Can he get in that triple? Ooh. It's gonna end him up being just a bit shy. Tom now, three singles. Three singles is all he needs. There's the 18. There's the 17, even leaves him one left over. Oh man. That's another seven banger, another seven banger. Oh, six, well, yeah. So, they only needed the two, so. Allen needing corks, nowhere less to go. Gotta have that one in the middle rock. Oh, can't pull the one off now. Jeremy, they have come alive at the bottom of the board when they needed it. Jeremy needing the cork, wants to break that ice. Hasn't done it yet, hasn't done it yet. Pulls up with a bagel of his own. Smitty now trying to be the icebreaker. They need a lot of points, quite a few corks behind, so. And there's a first one, that's a pretty sweet guide too. No doubt, no doubt. 
Can he get it? He's got it on the top. One more over that top. And people are going to be feeling some pressure. Oh! Dang! Boom, boom, boom. Tom Plant's got one. That's outside. Does he stay on it? Oh, he does. Stays on it for the win. Allen could pop in three. This could get pretty interesting. He's got one. Oh, he's got another. That's begging for a double cork. Oh! <laughs> oh, it was just calling for it. Jeremy with one. Jeremy outside. Oh, oh, and Jeremy opting to go to the 15. Smitty, though, double bull. He hits that double first time. He's going to have a couple pops at that 15. Need this start in the cork. Need this first start in the cork, baby. Oh, outside. Could still do it. Still pop that double. Really needs a double now. Really needs a double now to make Tom go somewhere else. Oh, first one. If that first one was in, folks, I do think that's a little different story. But Tom should be able to clean this up. Clean up. I'll cork. Oh, he's on the outside. Is he going to give Allen a shot? He is. Allen Furman going to get a shot at this thing now. Same deal, dude. Same deal. Double cork. It's going to give him a shot at it. He's got one. Need another, buddy. Need another. Oh. Need that cork. He pops this double cork right here and puts in three. Oh. Um, yeah. I think we call that adrenaline. Oh, Jeremy landing on top with almost no room, but he goes in the side of it. Jeremy Curran and Tom Plant moving on. Smitty or Furman will be scoring. And we are going to take a little break. Why don't we take a little break here? I think what we're going to do is give you a little slideshow, show you some of my friends. We'll find out who's coming back. Do me a favor and subscribe. And we'll see you back here in just a few.
Well, hello, everybody. We are back. And we should have a pretty good, pretty good match here for you. We have Dennis Alker, and I believe, actually, I don't know who his partner is. I think we got Maddie Baker and John Legier. And then, oh, Alan Parsons is in the mix. Yes, he is. So we'll get it straightened out soon. Figure out who is on whose partner. Here is not the place for a discussion. So I know we've got we got Alan, Dennis, Matt, and John. I'm just not sure who is with who yet. But we definitely have those four, and with those four, we should have a really good match. This should be quite entertaining for you folks. That right there, Dennis, is my captain, Captain Shaq. For the Dart Sharks, we play right here out of the moose. That is Maddie Baker. Maddie Baker plays out of the lanyard in Harwich. He plays in the double A division. John Legere right there. You saw one of his teammates, Smitty. He was on the stream earlier. Plays on FMA out of the Moonfish. And there is Alan Parsons, another double A player. And you can see right there, he is part of the double A team that knocked off FUPA. FUPA had won all kinds of matches and the championship several years in a row. And still tripping out of Dino's. And Mashby was able to dethrone the fabulous FUPA. Everybody expects those two teams to meet again in the finals. We'll see. It'll be a nice uh, match. So these guys are definitely getting ready. Looks like we're doing some fist pumps in the back. Alan getting a couple of warm-ups here. A lot of people asking where the stream is. So if you are watching, I know we got a couple people out there. Do me a favor, share it, put it out there, let your friends know. Ask everybody to subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel. The more subscribers we get, the better off we're all going to be. And we're going to hopefully, as I said, we're still testing, still playing with it. We're hoping to get everything set and running. And then hoping these guys get set and running. We'll see. Looks like they're uh, looks like they're getting a little ready. I don't know if we're waiting on a scorekeeper, but I see I see three out of the four of them. I guess we're just gonna watch Alan warm up. Uh, I'm not really sure what the heck's going on. So. I don't know. Guess they are currently hunting down a scorekeeper at the moment. So while we got a while we got a little time, I'm gonna push the um, I'm gonna push the youth tournament again on the 18th of May. So um, again, that'll be here. It's a Saturday. Starts at noon. All the kids play for free. We'll have pizza, prizes, swag bag, and um, we will be streaming. And we're gonna run everything on Dark Connect for the kids as well. Yeah, they are definitely, I don't know why, but I guess they're running around trying to find somebody to score. Why, why do we call a game with no scorekeeper? I don't know, but they're, uh, it is an unfortunate thing. Oh, looks like they finally found one. So it looks like we're gonna get going now, for real. For reals, man, for reals. They have found 
Zilasa Luza. That's who scores. Now we got fist bumps going. Get a little fist bump, little fist bumps. Everything should be getting ready to go. Here goes Mr. Matty Baker. So we got Matt Baker, we have Dennis Alker Jr. And we have Alan Parsons and John Legier. Refer to him as Little Legier. I went to high school with his dad, one of my best friends. And actually he's the best friend of the Smitty. Everything comes back, six degrees of Smitty. That's what we're gonna call it tonight, six degrees of Smitty. So let's hope everybody is warmed up and working at it. Matty Baker right to the 20s. These guys have already been a match, maybe two at this point, so they should be fairly warmed up and moving along. I'm starting to see the uh, the top teams come together. That's why this this one went on the stream, drifting off into the fives. A 45. And there's my captain, Captain Shaq, Dennis Alka Jr. Plays in A, should be playing in double A. Also plays in the Cape Cod Premier Singles League. That is run by Patrick, Basic Patrick Paquette. I'm sure a lot of you out there in Dartland know who he is. He runs our singles league here on Cape Cod, does a great job. John also playing in that singles league. But we come to these luck of the draws and this way everybody gets to know each other. You start to play with guys and girls from different teams. And that's how uh, people get noticed. People start to move around a little bit and uh, teams get just kind of created. So, and here we are living in the photies, living in the photies, waiting for somebody to start catch alive with our triples. Alan pumping along here, drifting into the one. Got that beautiful championship shirt though, fresh off the rack. Oh, looking like there might have been a little score discrepancy. Dennis making sure. Oh, there's a triple. Can he follow that? Can he follow it? No, but we're going to have an 80. We're going to have an 80 sighting, folks. 85. So you I graduated high school. Long time ago, yep. I said I was old. I wasn't lying. I wasn't lying. Look at Johnny Legier dropping those in there. Oh, that's too bad. That's kind of a well-thrown dart, just drift off to the right. Matty B in the his aisle, drifting into the three though. There's his triple 19. Back into the three, 63 though. At least we're getting out of the 40s. Over the 60, we'll see if Allen joins the triple party. Ooh, he's got a, quite the little uh, hook there. He must have a little, little snippety snip at the end of his throw there. Pushes him, uh, pushes him in there. See, captain, my captain, Captain Shock in the his aisle. Let's see what he's got. 206, he should be able to set his partner up, so he should be leaving it out. And he will definitely leave it out with that first one. Oh, fill it up, fill it up, fill it up. Actually, at 86, he would have wanted to go to the 18. The 180 there. We've seen what happens with 26. It ain't pretty. It ain't purdy, but there's a nice 140. And that is uh, that is Dennis, that's what he does. Thaddy, Thaddy Vegas, Johnny Legier. Matty Baker with a chance here to just close it out. He's got the six, he needs the 20, he's got the double 20, back down to the double 10, just a bit outside. But leaving outside is way better than leaving inside and leaving on 10, especially when the, your opponents are back on 270. Allen stepping up. If he can slip it into the triple, it gives him a chance at an out. Oh, 60. Would have left the big fish, could have left the big fish. Captain Shark says it right there, stepping up at double 10. He does not want the double 15 and he doesn't. Boom, second dart, well done, well done. You can see right there, a little 65 average. Not bad for two guys playing together. And then again, here we go, nice little blocker. Second game will be cork. You can see Captain Shark trying to see if he can get around it. I don't know. Oh, over the top. 
Looks like he might have pulled that one off. If not, he's gonna act like he did, that's for sure. That is for sure. Fist bump, fist bump. Oh, he did not. He did not get that one too far away. Allen with his little flick, there he goes. Now that flick's working. Flick, flick who? 420s, it's kind of the minimum. Well, I guess the minimum would be three, but you really want to get that at one point, make them hit 519s. But Captain Shark should be able to. There's one, there's two, and there's five. Nice third dart right there. That's why I say he should be in double A, and he will be next season. He doesn't have a choice, so. When the Cape Cod Dart League starts again in September of 2024, he will be in the double A. Johnny Legier, keeping him steady, getting right in there. Got three, three big ones. Matty Baker, got the 95. Ooh, is he going? He's got two. It's 114, gives him 152. He may take a poke at that 20. Oh, he took the poke, but good grief, man. You can tell he's gonna be laughing at that. You can see Dennis in the background. Allen needing to really stay straight now, keep him all in the 20. Oh, two out of the three, two out of the three. Little shaking here and there. That is definitely somebody hitting the table. You can just see the camera back there, so when I get a break, I'll, I'll go check. One of the other tables is kind of close. Might be just nicking it a wee bit. You see Captain taking it away, taking it away. John Legier gonna start on a new number. Back to the 18s. See that look of determination. Oh, just on the downside, just on the downside. Oh, there's Rachel Emery. She hates being on the stream. Look, wait till she finds out. Oh, Maddie Baker. 418s. Looks like Captain Shark is uh, his team is kind of putting a little separation here. Oh, look at there's the other half of D Production stream team. Jason Pillsbury at the food table, getting ready to fill his face. You heard the sweet sounds of Pills at the B and C. He plays in the AAA, so that's why you get to listen to the sweet sounds of Darren. Captain Shark trying to take away the 17. Boom, shakalaka. There's a five banger before that to make this a little tight by Allen. John's gonna go start at a new number. He's got that first one in there. Oh. Well, the 19's gonna help him a little bit. He needs it, but he would have preferred the 16. Did he pull the four banger off? Five. Yes, he did. Four in the 16. They're within 19. Maddie Baker going to close it out though. Boom, three fat singles. They cling to a 19 point lead. Alan Parsons back up to the 15s. Nice start there with a single. Oh, and he's got the triple now. Could use another one of those. Oh man. Bounce outs, bounce outs. They don't count in steel tip. They don't count in steel tip. Captain Shark's got a little shot here. Just needs three singles. Ooh, drifts into the 10. He'll go to the point now. Oh! Oh! Look at Johnny Legier now. He's got a shot, gotta get that 15, gotta get that 15. In the 10, in the 10. Oh, oh, come on Johnny. There you go. It's a long way to go for one. Maddie Baker should be able to clean it up, but, 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 got the 15. Clinging to a little slim lead here. You can see Allen thinking about it, three darts. I'd imagine he's going right to the cork. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, that's why you go to the cork. Oh, one more of those, he needs it, that's three. Needs one more, if he can get that point. Oh, dang, nab. 
That was a beautiful three right there. Captain Shark stepping up. Captain Shark stepping up. He could kill it. He could kill it. And there's a double. Oh, what a dart. That's begging for the third. No! No! Johnny Legere, how's your luck? You know the rule. Point first. Point first. Oh, just outside of that cork. A little bit high. Oh, oh, you can see it on uh, Maddie Baker. Maddie Baker needs one. 18. Well, it sort of gives him a cork right there, but he wants that cork. Wow. Oh, it was in, it was out. It was in, it was out. He's got the 18. So they, they got to have two corks now. Oh, couldn't run to the board that fast. Allen, he's got the two. He's got two. He's got the 18. Two 19s left. Oh. So now. Now it's up to Captain Shark. Captain Shark's got to have two. Got to have two. He steps up. He'd love to see that triple. Oh. Now he wants that triple. It's not enough. It's not enough. There's the triple. 76 will be enough. Well, John's got to have three. John's got to have three. Oh, struggling on the corks is Little Legere. He got one. One's not enough, though. Matty B will step up. Step up with three in hand. Last time it just fell out, though. That's not in. That's not in. Oh, all outside. They all stuck in that time. Allen, who has led off the last two throws with a double cork. He hits that double cork now. It's all but over. Oh, just outside. Oh, man. Talk about blocking. You are cork blocked, buddy. Oh. Oh. All right, well. You would think three darts, Captain Shark's got it. That dart's getting heavy. Darts are getting heavy, Captain. Man. One cork, folks. One cork. See, you can play this game. You can play this game. Wow. Holy moly, 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 moly. Well, this game was just rolling right along. Triples were flowing. Points were coming. And now, folks, they just they just block themselves on the cork. They just can't get anything. Can't get anything. Another bagel. Another bagel, and the baker steps up. Matty Baker trying to zone in on that cork. One dart left in hand. Wow. That is a bleep ton of misses in a row. A bleep ton. There's one. Allen needs one more. He's got it. Now the 19, and we're going three legs again. Oh! Oh, my goodness gracious. He, wow. Well, Captain Shark still got to hit two 19s, though. Still got to have two of them. And he misses that first one. There's one. It is not enough. It is not enough. Well, you got the two, but it's just one and one for John Legere. We may be going three again. This just seems to be the uh, the board of three legs. Oh, Johnny. Oh, Johnny. Oh. Well, Lee's Maddie Baker again with three darts in hand. 
He is high, high, high. Wow. Holy moly. Oh, and then he got it. Wow. Oh, good grief. Good grief. Well, that was a hard fought game right there. Holy mackerel. So, here you go. We're going to transition. Boom. There's our youth flyer. So, we'll leave that up there again. We'd love to have donations. Love to have kids coming out. So, if you want, come on in. Come on down and see us. We'd love to have you in and see you. So, please share it. Tell everybody about it. You can grab that off the face, Facebook page as well. Print that. So we're going to be back at you with a little more live action. This is Darren Eldridge of D Productions live from the Armouth Moose Lodge. And we will be back with another match as we get closer and closer to the final.
Okay, folks, so we're going to have a couple of minutes here with some games catching up. I have moved the player cam over, so eh, you can follow along with all of these matches on Dark Connect um, on DC TV. So, um, but I did just switch the camera around so you just see see a little bit of action. Um, but it's not the board you're watching, so. Um, but we play with the camera a little bit every once in a while. So while we're taking a break, I do want to give a shout out and much love and prayers to Chuck Gregory. He is a uh, friend of ours who is battling some stuff right now. I know a lot of you know about it. Some don't probably, but um, we did want to say hi to Chuck because he is one of the guys out there cheering us on and watching our stream. Chuck, we love you and we want you to get better so you can come down here and we can make fun of you. So uh, Chuck's a great shot. He's also a better human being. So, um, so Chuck, get better, buddy. Okay? We love you, man. We really do. All right, folks. Well, I'm going to go out and catch a little break. I'm going to go back over here. Hey, Chuck, there's one of your buddies right there. So we're going to be back in just a little bit with some live action. D Productions. I am Darren Eldridge. We'll be back in just a few minutes.
Well, hello, everybody. I don't know how many everybody's we got, but hello. We are back live. We have another fantastic match for you guys to check out. CJ O'Boyle, the beard to be feared on Cape Cod. You already met Melanie Boyan, one of our amazing female shots here on the Cape. So Mel and Shane will be taking on CJ and Jenna, Jenna Garcia. I am not, ooh, look at Shane trying to take out Maddie Baker. Look at that. If you take him out, he's Tanya hardening him. He's trying to take him right out before he gets a chance. But I, uh, this is Jenna. Jenna is somebody who I do not know. She's uh, new to the league. And she and her husband, Chato, who I think a lot of folks know, um, come down and play with us. She is also in the AA division. So we're going to get to see a couple of great female dart players. And uh, Shane and CJ aren't bad either. CJ is part of the still tripping, the Dinos, the AA, current AA champions. Defending champions as they go about the 2024 season here. So this should be a pretty sweet match here. And again, as we keep on going, I will remind you we play 501 single in, double out, cricket, cricket with points. And if it should be 1 1 after those first two legs, they will throw the ball again. And the winner of that will call the third game. They only play three legs. That's when we have our winners. And we are getting down to the nitty gritty. The nitty of the gritty here. Which means it'll be money time pretty soon. There'll be some pictures. We'll post some stuff. We'll say hi and we'll pass out some envelopes. We're dwindling down. You see some of the folks in the background. You can just see just over Melanie's shoulder. There he is right there. That is Meat Lovin. He's one of our commissioners. A brother commissioner, Mr. Harold James Chase, couldn't be here tonight. He's off helping with his mom's 80th birthday. Dolores, happy birthday. So here we go. Looks like we're getting ready. Choosing who's going to throw the cork. And we're going to get down to it as Melanie will lead off. Ooh, right on it. A lot of room there to the right. We'll see what the beard does. Ooh. Ah, that just may be just go right ahead and do it all over again. That's a... Uh, Ah, uh, that is tight. And they are, they are too close, too close to call. And there he goes, that time he stuck it inside. But let's face it, that's a beautiful little guy right there. Sure, he could probably slide right down the top of that. Oh! <laughs> Wow. Told you, we got some great dart players, period. But we are very blessed with some awesome female shooters. So, just landing outside gives CJ the first shot. And I know we got CJ. We don't have his beautiful better half, Roxy. I don't know if Roxy's one of the ones watching out there. But if you are, hey, Roxy, we miss you. You might want to send CJ a text. That's an 11. He might be home soon if he's going to keep hitting 11s. That nice high delivery, follow through. That's an 80 banger. That's an 80 banger. And this is Jenna. As I said, I'm not real familiar with Jenna, but she does play in the AA division down here. So there's our good pal Shane. Let's see if Shane can light it up. He, when, is he, when he's out of the gate with that first triple 20, man, it's usually pretty good. And there it is. He does get that tuna in there. 
It's all about that first start with a lot of players. You get that first one anywhere near where you want to be, it's really good. And that was no help, but CJ just fills that puppy right up. Let me just sit over here and hit you a ton 40, which is way better than 11. He probably got that text message from Roxy telling him to get his head out of his behind. Can't quite, oh wow, what a third dart from Mel. Well done. Good grief. My dream to be able to shoot like that. Jenna staying on that 20. Oh, looks like she had just had a little drift into the 30. Oh, Shane, that might be, it is not a block. He is in that. Oh, I love watching Shane shoot. He just puts it all out there, every emotion. He must be great to play poker against. But he just lets it out. Such a such a such a good soul. Oh CJ couldn't pull that third dark magic that time. And Melanie's in and out. Looks like she caught the double twenty there. She's gonna stay right up there. Uh, looks like another eighty banger. Call that a kick save, top shelf. Boom. Jenna take it off after the cork. Well, Shane, see how he decides to open up. 13, leave him 62. Well, he just hits another one of those, he'll be Nicely poised, or excuse me, Mel will be nicely poised after a nice leave. CJ back on 211, all he can do is set it up and hope for a miss. Ooh, 171 left, gets a 60. It's an out, but that's a big ask at 151. Melanie set up on 32. That one drops a little low, but stays outside. Oh, she's gonna have to double double it. Oh, a little, looks like she's just a little what the bleep. After that, holy mackerel. So Jenna steps up. Twenty six is. 46 scored. Shane at 16. Gonna walk it in. Boom. Second dot. So here goes CJ. They will throw a cork. Righty Roo, here we are with Cricket in leg number two. Not a great open, gives CJ quite a nice open, and of course, ooh, looks like he's got that triple. Ah, oh, na 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 na. Well, it was a great start, great start, but Mel can clean this up and take away a toy right here. So disappointing when you get that first start in the triple. Oh. Oh, Jenna with the 20. Oh, just outside. She's playing that right though, playing that right. Shoot team miss some point. Shane needing some 19s. Got two, got two. CJ with another open bed. 
and a 20 point lead. There's one. Dos. Oh, and he buries it in the triple for the third dart. That's a five banger. That's gonna hurt a little bit. That's gonna hurt a little bit. Well, I got a text from Roxy. Well, I don't actually, uh, I don't have the chat open. I did, uh, when I switched up real quick, I did see Jillian's, which is why I said hi. But when I am watching this, I don't see the chat. I, I, I'll get there eventually. But, uh, yeah. As I said, still learning. Let me see. I'm going to open it up on the phone, see what happens. See if I can see the chat. Oh, look at that. Okay. So now I see everybody. Of course, now I miss the game. It looks like CJ's l riding it up now. Well, Melanie. Melanie up here has got her 18s. I know you can see her hand a little bit. I think we had a little knock on the table, so. She's got two, so. All right, look at me. Now I got a, got a thing up there in the chat, too. We're going to try to multitask. We'll see how this goes. Look at you all watching. Thank you so very much. Please subscribe. And I uh, hope you're enjoying it. I know Roxy is because CJ's kind of turning it on right now. So that definitely helps. And we got a little game going on over here now. So still thinking about it. And he wants to get that closed. And boom, drops a third one again. And uh, he's got that third dart triple going on. Of course, no points that time because it was closed. But it definitely takes away a toy. And now Mel having to reach and go for the 17s. So. Oh, uh, thank you, Roxanne. I hope you guys are enjoying this. This is a lot of fun. I'm kind of a dark geek, so it's a new little, new little hobby. Jenna going after her 17s. Oh, struggling a little bit here. She's getting that one in the middle. Can't follow it up. We'll see if Shane can take it away. Hey, Sue, how are you? Um, so, uh, so far, so good. Sue's um, better half, Mr. Beef. He is one of the people that you guys can blame for this. He is, uh, he is IT for us. So we thank Sue for the beef and his time. Boom, triple, triple, CJ up there. CJ getting nasty now. He definitely wants to play three legs. Um, but the beef is one of them, and I could not do it, um, a.k.a. Tim Rutherford, for those of you who don't know, but everyone knows the beef. Oh, Mel just drilling it now. Nicely done. But he is one of the people that uh, has helped and gotten this all started and uh, could not have done it without him and gotten set up. And, of course, I always thank uh, the other two people who you folks blame, and Adam Sherlock and Greg Tong. Those are the other two. Shane stepping up now. Look at him loading up the corks. There, there, there. Ooh, that's a five banger on the corks. Yes, sir, it is. They're making a game of it. They ain't giving up yet. They ain't giving up yet. So, um, so thanks to everybody who has uh, who's helped. Ah, hey, Katie, how are you? Hi, Wayne. We know who Wayne's cheering for, but um. Yeah, so uh, it's a collective effort to do it. So it's a lot of fun. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I know I say that 100 times, but it definitely helps. And share it. If you can share the stream and throw some likes. And Mel drilling another cork. Every little bit helps. And, of course, tonight we're raising a bunch of money for the Utes for our Youth Dart Tournament on May 18th. And uh, we did have a great 50-50 winner. It was our steward. Holly, who won, 
gave some back, and that's always sweet when they do that. So um, Ed Kuna was our big winner on the Blade 6. So I don't have the grand totals yet. Uh, Meat is running the event over there on Dark Connect for us. So CJ now over here with the lead. Can't put it in the cork, though. Can't put it in the cork. One more shot. Oh. Well, Mel, who's just been living in the corks, we'll see what happens. But, uh, yeah, we've raised a lot of money for the youth tonight. Youth Dart Tournament on May 18th. Ooh, tough darts right there. Youth Dart Tournament here at the Yarmouth Moose starts at noon on Saturday, May 18th. Completely free. Zero to 18 years old. So uh, if you've got a young boy, girl in their life and they uh, might want to give it a shot, it'll be a great day. Everything is absolutely free for the kids. Totally free. We'll have pizza and prizes and swag bags and trophies and plaques. So good times. And we're going to live stream so that grandma and grandpa can watch too. So, oh, Shane, Shane splashing into the 20. But CJ with another chance to wrap this puppy up. Steely determination. He's looking at it now. Oh. They need an icebreaker. They need an icebreaker. Well, you tell Tim that um, I love him. So, oh, Mel drilling the corks again. She slides this one in. Oh, it's kind of bunched up, but I think she put them both in there. Yes, she did. She got the splash on the 19s. Ooh, this is tightening up here. Oh, Jenna. Oh, I don't think Jenna saw that the 19s were closed. You see a little smile on Mel's face. Not going to lie. That's exactly how I feel. Oh, Shane taking the 17s. Oh, got rid of the 17s. Let's see how CJ handles this. Oh, just outside. Oh, there's one. Winning dart in hand. Can he glide it in? Gonna say by the look on his face. Nope. Now Mel just needs one cork and 115. One cork and 115. And there's the cork. Are you cereal? Melanie Boyan stepping up. 115. That's it. Two darts. That is it. CJ and Jenna unfortunately sent packing. All right. Well, everybody who's watching, thank you, thank you, thank you. We had a little fun with the chat. I'm going to try a little bit to keep in touch with both. We're going to see how that goes. And we'll be back soon. And uh, we got to be getting close to the finals. So you keep watching. Darren Eldridge, D Productions, live from the Yarmouth Moose. We'll be back in a minute.
Okay, well, we're back, and we are going to be back here with the finals. The finals are going to be Mel. Going to be Mel and, uh, and her partner, Shane. And they are going to take on Tom Plant and Jeremy Curran. And we saw them earlier on the stream. They took out Dennis, Captain Shark, and Maddie B, Maddie Baker. So that's how they got here. So I did get to, um, so I did get uh, meat has sent me over. The pot for the 50-50 was 115, was uh, the take for the Utes. Holly gave back 50 from her winnings. And then the board that we raffled off brought in 140 bucks. So that's what, 305 bucks. So that was a great, great job. All goes towards that youth event. And then the balance, as I said, the balance goes off and right around December, when we've wrapped up our uh, fundraising activities, we take all that cash and bring it down to Child and Family Services of Cape Cod. And they disperse that and, uh, and make some, some kids who don't get Christmas Christmas. So. So please, if you can, give a little bit, donate, come down and play, bring a youth with you, anything. It's all good. So you can see they're taking their final warm-ups. As we get ready, Meat is taking the pictures of our top four. We'll get a bunch of that out tomorrow. Although, spending all my time on the stream, last time at the BNC I was with uh, Pills, he was on the stream, so I was able to go and snap some pictures. So, I know the Boyans, Kevin's usually really good at that and takes the videos and stuff, so hopefully we'll get some pics up. If not, we'll have pictures of your winners, we'll have the stream to enjoy. And uh, again, I want to thank, you know, Roxy, Sue, The Beef, anybody else who was on that chat. Um, I really, really appreciate it. I know I told y'all I was gonna try to try to do this. So um, all right. Look at that. Top messages. You're all out there. Everybody subscribing. I really appreciate that. Give it a share too, share it around. Give it to some friends. Don't forget, we will be live streaming the youth event. So if there's grandmas and grandpas out there and you got some kids, it's a lot of fun. The kids like always watching themselves on TV and so do the adults. So, uh, so it's good. Got some peoples out there. You see them hugs and kisses and everyone saying goodbye and wrapping up, wrapping up a Saturday night. It's nice, we got in here, got going right around on time, so things were going great. So, um, so, so far, so good. I see Jeremy there. And again, I think I think I said it, but congratulations to Ed Kuna. Ed Kuna, he um, was the one who won the dartboard, the Blade Six. So we had uh, Meat win it. He won it down at the BC and Ed Kuna won this one. We'll have one more that we'll be raffling off. And we'll be raffling that off at the youth event on uh, May 18th. And yes, I keep pushing it. That's what I do. So we got a little dancing going on. There's Melanie's husband, Kevin. Some words of encouragement. There's Shane, there's Jeremy. I don't know who they're going to call on. I don't know who they're uh, calling on to be the uh, scorer. Uh, yeah, my mic just fell over. For those of you going, whoa, that was weird. What happened? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Just knocked the mic over. Well, as far as the hat inside thing goes, it is allowed. And 
that is a thing down here. I will admit, I will admit, on the Cape, we like our hats. So, and there's Mr. Tommy Plant. We got Tommy Plant. So now it looks like we got everybody there. I think if we find, find Jeremy, you see Jeremy there, there's Shane. So we got everybody in. I'm guessing that we are, don't have a clear, clear live view here. So I'm not sure they got the scorekeeper there or not. We'll see. Oh, maybe CJ's gonna score. He might be right there. Generally what we do in the finals, we try to split it up with the last people, but sometimes you get into those uh, those last couple rounds and if you time it right and you lose just right, you don't have to score. So, oh, there's that Kuna right there, leaning right up against the post. And he was the one who won the board. Just see him between Shane and Tom there. So it looks like we're underway. We're going to get ready. Mel's going to step up there. I think she's just going to keep on throwing the corks. She's been hitting them. Ooh. It's probably the most she's missed a cork by all night. Oh, Tommy right there in the double. The double of the cork. All right. Game on. This is the finals of the AAA combined Cape Cod Dark League Luck of the Draw. Spring 2024 edition. And he wins the cork and it looks like it's a seven. That is a beautiful open right there. Mel opening up, staying right in that 20. Chad rooting on Shane. Shane's got quite the following. Plays a lot of dots. Great dude, so everybody loves hanging out with him. And it is nice. We actually have a uh, you know a bunch of people here that are uh, that are good dudes. Nice to see these people. A couple of big teams got knocked out. Shane and Mel taking care of business. Coming back in that cricket too. So and. Uh, Tom and Jeremy taking out Captain Shark and Matty B. That was a tough team right there. A favorite at the beginning of the night. Look at Mel, what a shot. She's gonna match Tommy. Ooh, just into the five. Ah, uh, two of them. Again, great first start. Killer when you get that first triple. Triple 20 can go two ways. You go single, single, then hit the triple, you are a pretty happy camper. You go triple, single, single, you're just wondering why. Why did the other one not go in? 88 there by Jeremy, back-to-back -back 80s. They're looking pretty good. Oh, Shane, is he going to fill it up? Oh, no. Well, we got a ton 25 anyways out of it. Would have been nice to get the ton 80. Had our first nine daughter on the CDC stream. Did y'all catch that? Alex Spellman throwing the first live nine dart on the CDC PDC stream. A cross border challenge. That was freaking amazing. And congratulations to Alex. Oh, fill it up, Mel. Fill it up. Oh. Well. Told you, told you we have some nasty, nasty female shooters down here, man. They can hold their own. 99, the only two dart, three dart out. Uh, Jeremy, even after those back-to-back -back 80s, they're back in the 40s. Shane at 99, not under real pressure. Got the trip, needs double 18. Oh, wow. That dartboard said Patui on your dart. Send it for La High and back. But that was a beautiful set. And with Tom back on 213, there's really not a lot that he's going to be able to do about it. 
the 41 is not going to help their situation. Mel's got plenty of time from 36. Just outside. It's not much of a guide there. Oh, just over the top of it. A couple of good dots right in there. Just couldn't couldn't get off the barrel. Jeremy hoping to get something set up here. Ooh, all around that triple. He just couldn't crack it. Couldn't crack the code. Shane, you left it. Let's see if you can hit it, bro. Ooh. That's a tough one. Oh, ooh, look at that fighting. Mel's gonna like that though. Mel's gonna like that. Just adjusting the score there. Mel wants to make sure. I don't blame her. You want to make sure that gets set in first. Yeah, 32. Oh, that is not the triple that Tom wanted. Ooh. That was a tough first start and it didn't get much better after that. Mel now stepping up three clear at 32. Nice and in the corner. She could drop that other one right over the top. They've been smoking these 01s. Oh. Well, now Jeremy with a chance. He probably didn't think he was actually going to get to see. So let's. Uh, 70, does he go? He doesn't. He goes for that triple instead of going to the 20 double cork. Decides not to go that route. And scores 38. But it does leave him single to double. Shane with a shot at 32 here. That stays out of the way. Ooh. Kind of all over the place and uh Tommy now, single to double, he's got the, oh, he hits the three. I guess he wants to make it a little difficult. Is that a guide? Oh, it looked to be, it looked to be. Melanie staring down the double eight now. Nice little collection of thoughts. She'll put that hand nice and high. Walk that puppy in. Oh, she can glide off of that into the double. Oh! <laughs> wow. All I can say is wow. And Jeremy one darts that from nowhere. Woo! All right. Shane going to give it his shot at the cork. That one a little low. Jeremy with lots of room there. So here we go with cricket, Jeremy and Tom leading off. I think Shane's still lamenting over his cork. He's gotta get that out of his head, get back in the game, get back in the game. Oh, Jeremy winning the cork, but only pulling the 120. Only pulling the 120. Shane with an open bed. Ooh. Well, looks like we're going one at a time, folks. Jeremy with a little jig going on. Ooh. You see Tom Plant with the uh, Eric Church, and I am a big fan of Eric Church, but um, I think like every day he wears something, Eric Church, hat, T-shirt, pants. I don't know if he's got any underwear, but... He's always dressed in something, Eric Church. So, I don't know why I told you that. I don't know why I said it, but I did. So, it happens. Jeremy here. Oh, Jeremy Bagling. Pop that double first start. He's having a little trouble in cricket. Shane now with an opportunity that he probably, oh, oh. Wow, goose egg followed by a goose egg. Let's see if Tom can clean this up. Goodness gracious. Got that nice solid 20. Probably wasn't happy with that 19 he threw, so he thought he'd go up there. 
See if Mel can calm things down and try to get a few points on the board. Got a big circle now. Got some points. She puts this in the triple. Ooh, nice attempt. Three solids right there, three solids. Not quite enough, but these boys haven't exactly been closing things up behind them and cleaning it up, so. Jeremy not even messing with the other dart. Oh, lots of sevens and 120. If Shane can pop that triple, he can take their toy away. Ooh, just below. Got to get the second, got to get the second. Oh, he got that third in there. There you go. Tommy's been pretty steady on these 20s. Commentator curse. It even happens here. Ooh. Deflection on the wrong side gives Mel a chance. She only needs two. She only needs two to take this away. There's one. Oh, there's two. She did the 18 of the 19s. That is a close, and she has taken away the toy. Jeremy right in the triple 18, though. Needs another. Oh, look at that five. That's a good answer right there. That's a good answer. Shane will have to take that 19 first, and he does. <laughs> I do not think Shane meant for that 20. I got a feeling that was the 18. Oh, all tied up. Oh! Tied up on points. Let's see if Mel decides to give this a shot and go with that 18. She takes that triple 19. Boom. Makes that dart right. There's one. Oh, nice. Darts. Another five banger right back at it. Oh, Jeremy just short, just short on the 18, just short on the 18. Oh, not that time. That is a beautiful dart. Oh, ho, 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 ho. good whooping. Shane taken away. Oh, there you go. Oh, that was a beautiful 18, followed up with that triple 17. Oh, there's another triple right off the bat by Tom. Oh, oh, one. Oh, that looked like a triple from here. It was not. Oh, there's a happy accident. Oh, she can close this out. Ooh, she's got that single action going on. Got the single action going on. Jeremy definitely wanting to zone in. He's got the close. Oh, wow. Wow, he is really all over that stuff tonight. Shane, Shane catching fire when he has to. Right now, they are just not missing Shane. And Mel are just singling everything to death and just closing it up and just leaving these guys with nothing. Oh, Tom got the close, but Mel only needs one. Boom, beautiful dart right to the cork. Oh, over the top. Oh, beautiful. Very well done. See Kevin in the background cheering and hooting. Jeremy trying to put some pressure on. He's got two. He's got two. Looks like he snuck the Fed. He's got three. Shane, two, puts it away. There's one. One more closes it. Oh. A little excited. Threw that a little fast. A little fast, dog. A little fast. Tom does have enough darts in hand, but he's got to. Oh. Oh. He's got to get the cork. Got to get the cork. Gotta get the cork, gotta get the cork. Got one. Mel on a one and one search now. One and one. Three darts, just one point. Oh, gotta get that point now. Gotta get that point. There you go. 
Switches over the 19s. Now Jeremy with darts in hand, but he does need two nines and three sevens. No splash there. Couldn't splash there and no corks. I think he caught a 19 there with a splash, so Shane now just one cork. Clean it up. Oh. Dropped into a seven there. But he definitely wanted that cork. Oh, Tom, wide right, wide right. Florida State. Oh, couldn't couldn't pull that third one. A little over adjustment. I would imagine Mel will clean this up. Pop this off and we'll go play a third leg. Oh, little off to the right. Oh, no. Couple of goose eggs here at the end. Jeremy's falling a little short too. Still no splashing. Oh, and there's a double cork. There's a double. Now Shane's gonna need some points. Triple three ain't gonna do it. Oh. Wow, gives him a two point lead. Tommy, Tommy looking for the cork. Wanting that third dart, just like Jeremy. Oh, he looks like it snuck in the two, it did. Mel stepping up. Mel, one cork for the win. Just got the line, she's gotta get the weight right. Oh. Well, Jeremy's been fairly steady. Oh man, how he wished that was a splash into the 19. Oh, well. Does take the 19 out of the equation, but Shane doesn't care about the 19, he just wants that cork. Oh man, he needs a cork. Oh, he slips it in, there you go, Chad, there you go, he slipped it in there. And of course you want to go three, right? It's the finals. Nobody wants easy money in the finals, right? See Jeremy and Tom probably discussing what they want to play. Should they win? Or how they're going to push it? I think, uh, I think that was a good choice going back to Mel for the cork. Shane's last cork was a little sway. She's been pretty steady the entire night. Oh, I think that's gonna be ladies' choice. So we'll see. We'll see what Shane and Mel are thinking. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is for all the marbles. Melanie right on that 20. She's got it closed, looking for a point and a little hip. Looks like that drifted into the fiver, but it's still a close. Jeremy going right to the 19s. He wants to get on, jump on that point lead and force it, force their hand. Couldn't quite pull it in and get three. Gives Shane an open shot here. Got one. Got dos. Oh, and drifts into the seven. Tommy definitely needs to put these 19s in now. Oh, got the sickle, got the sickle. Oh, and he gets, gets the one. So, Mel with a one and one situation. Nice straight dart on the 20. Oh. And she takes that 19 out. She probably would have preferred the double 20 and the single 19, but you know, hey, it is what it is. She got the point lead, she got the close. Jeremy and Tom got to start on a new number. Oh, Jeremy inching his way down towards that triple. Shane drifting into the one, got an 18. And back to the 20. Doesn't want to play with that 18 now. Especially with them having two, one triple would put them in the lead at that point. Got a circle for Tommy. 
Oh. Those deflections are just on the other side of the wire for Tom right now. Melanie stepping up. She has been just killing these singles. Single, single, beautiful. Oh. It's got to be like the first start she's missed in the last 15 maybe. Hey, a little Nick Van Sisson in the background. Jeremy thinking about it now. Oh, man. Shane, open bet at the 17. Hitting a little low here where we're just starting to get into some misses. He sneaks one in there. You can tell he ain't happy, though. You can tell he ain't happy. Tommy Plant. Got one. Got two. Can he get the close? Oh, again with that third dart just on the outside. Mel trying to close things up and take it away. One. Ooh, bounce out. Big dart coming. Oh, and that lands on the outside. There was no double up there. She got it on the 19, not on the 17. Jeremy now. Got his circle. He's another one of those. Oh, and he gets it right there. What a shot. Drops in seven. Seven of them. Shane, Shane trying to do the same. Oh. Got two. Leaves it up to see if Plant can take out. There's one. There's two. Three. Three beautiful singles from Tommy. Great shot there. Mel stepping up. See if she's got some 16s in her back pocket. Not that time. Got one. Could use a trip. Doesn't get the trip. Gets the two singles. Pushes it Jeremy's way. We'll see what happens. Oh, he falls short. Two times. Two times in the seven. Looks like a block on that triple two. Well, Shane's got a beautiful opportunity here. He wants that first one in. It's not. Got one. There's the close. Chipping away. Gets him to 96. We'll see what the Chiefs got. The Chief says, I got a seven. I got an eight. And he's looking for one right down the middle. Only two. Mel stepping up. There's one. She could use another. Stay right there, I would imagine. Oh, I think that's a five banger for Mel right there. Really puts the ball in Jeremy's court now. Could use another seven run on the 15s. Needs that triple. Oh, and he decides to go back. Well, isn't that interesting? Oh. Shane helping to make that decision right a little bit. Tom, another chance here. Goes high on the first. Does get the single. Oh, followed the wrong dart. Melanie with another chance to close this out. Has one. Has two, and that's a triple two, so that's going to give him some more points. Off to the cork. Just a bit high, but that triple 15 is going to probably be a big dart now. Oh, is he going to take that 15? He went, he did, but he ended very, very short. Oh, I thought the second might have been the cork. Wasn't there. Shane, one, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, your champions of the AAA combined luck of the draw, Shane Hakula and Melanie Boyan. Your runners up. Mr. Tom Plant and Mr. Jeremy Curran, who is also sits on the Board of Governors. 
We love Jeremy. There's CJ with the beard to be feared. I want to thank everyone who was nice enough to watch on the stream. I can't thank you enough. And I hope you subscribed and shared it. Get your friends to subscribe so we can keep this going and having more fun with it. Again, don't forget May 18th, youth event, Yarmouth Moose Lodge, free for the kids, free for the youths. And this is Darren Eldridge for D Productions and the Cape Cod Dart League. We want to thank you for watching us live from the Yarmouth Moose Lodge for the AA Combined LOD Spring 2024. Darren Eldridge saying thanks for watching. We appreciate you. And hey, do me a favor. Be the reason somebody smiles, okay? Do something nice. Make somebody smile. It'll do a lot of good for everybody. We love you guys. Thank you so much for watching.